Hello YouTube, it's Matt here from TopWindowsTutorials.com and it's Friday afternoon so I decided to do a little more informal video than we normally do uh, basically just because I wanted to get this information out there and this video is on safe mode in Windows 8 so safe mode the the idea of safe mode was it was a minimal configuration with the absolute bare minimum of drivers and extras that would let you start your PC when things went wrong. So you could be happily using your PC and on Windows 7, Windows XP, Windows Vista if you installed a driver that screwed something up or if you got some malware that needed removing or any kind of troubleshooting scenario like that you could restart your PC and even if it wouldn't start normally you could press the F8 key and then you'd get a menu and you'd be able to select safe mode which in a lot of instances would start the PC even if it wouldn't start normally. Now this hasn't been removed from Windows 8 but it's been changed so that the only way to start safe mode is from within Windows so yeah you've got a mode that helps you start your PC when it won't start normally that's only available when you can start your PC normally so yeah I don't know what you're supposed to do when you want to start safe mode in Windows 8 what Microsoft were thinking you probably just have to give up <laughs> and try some other troubleshooting technique so what can we do about this well there's a lot of videos already out there on YouTube and a lot of advice and most of it doesn't work on the final build of Windows 8. Um, pressing F8 when your computer starts up as some people have suggested does not work. Pressing Shift and F8 when your computer starts up that does not work either. And finally some people say that you can boot from the Windows 8 DVD and open a command prompt from there and enable the boot manager from within there and I can tell you now that doesn't work either. So what can we do? Well this little technique will bring safe mode back um, the penalty is a couple of extra seconds onto your boot time which I think is perfectly reasonable to get such a useful troubleshooting utility back so if you want to do this follow these steps so first of all we're going to need a command prompt so oh, I'll search for command prompt and I'm going to right click and run as administrator okay so the first command I'm going to type in is bcd edit all one word then a space forward slash set another space and then we need the curly brackets this is the shift key and the key to the right of P at least on my UK keyboard and then we're going to type B O O T M G R and close the curly brackets then display boot menu all one word and a space and then yes and press enter Okay, the operation completed successfully. Now what that does is display a boot select menu that would let you select between different versions of Windows for instance so dual boot Windows 8 Windows 7. Well, there's not much point showing a boot menu if you've only got one operating system but what this also lets you do is boot into safe mode. So you can leave it like that and you'll get the boot menu every time but um, you might want to also do this and I'm going to do it now I'm going to type bcd edit and then slash timeout then a space and two and press enter so with that now the menu will only be displayed for a maximum of two seconds so why two seconds well the thing with this is you have to press the F8 key once 
and once only when the menu appears. On the old Windows XP, Vista etc you could just mash the key until the menu appeared. The problem with doing that on Windows 8 is if you keep mashing the key or holding it down you'll actually end up selecting an option off the um, boot options menu that will start Windows 8 up again. So yeah, Microsoft really have made this awkward for us. Now if you find two seconds isn't long enough you can use the slash timeout and set it to anything you like. Uh, my reactions must be pretty good, I play a lot of video games so two seconds is enough for me. Having said that I'll probably muck this up on the demo now but there you go. Also it does add two seconds to your boot up times but if you're feeling really impatient you can just press the enter key and that will skip straight over this menu if you don't need safe mode. Right so I'm going to reboot this virtual machine now and hopefully you'll be able to see what this does. It's a live demo so something will probably go wrong. Right settings, power, restart and I'm going to hover my finger over the F8 key ready. Okay, there we go. I hit the key quick enough and now I'm in the early startup settings that you can't normally get to. Thanks Microsoft. So now obviously you've got all these options that you can use for troubleshooting including enable safe mode and enable safe mode with networking and so I'm going to go ahead and enable safe mode and that's it so I'll log in as per usual and we're straight into safe mode And that's it. I hope that helps a few of you. It's certainly helped me. And now you've got this handy little troubleshooting tool back in Windows 8.